We're looking at the book First Peas to the Table. This is day two for March 31st, but you can watch this video whenever it works out for you. The last time we were together, we read this book, First Peas to the Table. Let's remember some of the things about the story. It's called First Peas to the Table because the story is about how Thomas Jefferson, who was a president of the United States, had a contest among other friends who were farmers to see who could grow the peas that would grow fast and produce enough peas that they could fill a whole bowl on the table. So we learned from the story last time that in this book, a bunch of students at a, in a classroom we're going to try to have a first piece to the table contest. So let's turn to the page where they talk about the contest. Maybe you remember this character in the story. She's thinking in this picture about what will happen when they have the contest. She said she really wanted to win because there was a special prize. Do you remember the prize? It was this gold crown with green fabric and little green jewels that looked just like, they look like peas. In this part of the text, the teacher says, be bold and experiment. Jefferson traded seeds with people around the world then he used his garden like a giant science lab to test which plants would grow best. I want to stop there. He used his garden like a giant science lab to test which peas would grow best. The teacher, Ms. Garcia, says, be bold and experiment. I wonder if we know what it means to experiment. Hmm. Let's take a look at that word. I'm gonna write it down on a whiteboard and I'm gonna put the whiteboard here for all of us to be able to see it. Okay, here's the word experiment. Sorry if it's wiggly a little bit. What is an experiment? What's an important part of doing an experiment? Take a moment to think about that. What does it mean to do an experiment? Well, I think you you do an experiment when you have a question. Maybe you do an experiment when you want to figure something out. All right, so you wanna figure something out, but do you do an experiment in just any old way or is there a special way it should be done? Stop for a moment and pause the video and think about what is special about an experiment? What is the special way we figure something out? Go ahead and stop the video for a second and think about that. Maybe find somebody you can talk to about it. I'll wait for you. Okay, by now you've come back and you've thought about what makes an experiment special. I'm gonna share some ideas I have. See if they might be similar to yours. I think the, an experiment is a kind of test. And I think if there's a test, that means it has some steps. And it's a special kind of test. It's a scientific test. Now a scientific test probably can't just be done any old way. So we know there might be some steps. And I think there is also some conditions or some ways of making the test. 
that you have to pay attention to. So a scientific test, maybe with some special rules. I'd like us to think a little bit more about that so that we can design an experiment here. We can do this together over the computer and I can carry out the steps and videotape them so that you can follow along. What I'd like to do now, I'm gonna put this definition to the side. And if you'd like to follow along with me, I'm gonna ask you to go and, and get a few things. When I started writing this, I thought it was day number one, but it's really day number two. If you want to work along with me, you're going to need to get a notebook or some paper, a pencil, and maybe some colored pencils or crayons for drawing with. So I'm going to ask you to stop the video and gather those things and then come back. All right. Okay, by now you have your pen, your pencil, your paper, and maybe something to color with. So let's go back to the text. Here it says that Jefferson traded seeds with people around the world and then used the science lab to test which plants would grow best. So I'd like to show you some seeds that I have for doing this experiment together. I have some different packets here and I'll put them underneath so you can see them. They look pretty similar. This one looks a little bit different. I'd like to point out some special things about these. Now, some of them have pictures of peas. This one looks like just a garden picture. But if you look very, very closely, we can see that these are seeds for peas. and that they have different names. This kind of seed is mammoth melting sugar. This is sugar Anne. And this one is called Wando. I don't know that. And I see also that they, they have some information here that these are tall, dwarf, that means shorter, and also dwarf. That doesn't have to do with the peas, that has to do with the plant that the peas grow on. And so now I'd like to take each one out and look at the seeds. So let's start with mammoth melting sugar. Here's mammoth melting sugar. I'm gonna go ahead and open the seed packet and place some of the seeds on the screen for you to see. A little they're very round. Can you tell by how they're rolling? All right, so now if you have your notebook, I'd like you to go ahead and take out your notebook or paper, and I'd like you to write the date on the top of your page. So I'll just show that to you here. There's 33120. And then I'd like you to do a drawing, a quick sketch of this seed and label it. So this is the seed. Oh, look at that rolled away. It's so round. I'm gonna hold that one in my hand just a moment so you can see it. Can you see that it has a little line there? I'll see if I can put that down so that the line will show up. It wants to roll. So why don't you get started with that shape and then I'll see if I can find something to stick it down a little bit better. Okay, I've just gone and fetched a little piece of tape and I'm gonna put that underneath there and see if that helps us a little bit. All right, so go ahead and stop the video and make that sketch. All right, so by now you have finished your sketch of the mammoth melting sugar 
And we're going to go on to the other variety. I'll move these off and put them back in their pocket and set the packet to the side. Okay, now let's take a look at Sugar Ann. I think we learned our lesson. We might need that tape again, huh? Sugar Ann. And I'll put some of these seeds down. Hmm, I think I noticed some differences right away. What do you notice differences about the shape or the texture of the seed? Go ahead and add a sketch of the sugar and peas to your paper or your notebook. And stop the video so you have some time to do that. Okay, by now you've finished your sketch of these pea seeds, sugar and, and let's look at the third variety. Is that strange name Wando? Let's put that paper, that tape down right there. I think I'll move it this way. I've got the seed packet Wando. And huh. Also some differences. So let's just get the shape and maybe something of the texture. And then I'll ask you to go back with your coloring, your colored pencils or your crayons and add some shading for color. So go ahead and do a sketch of this seed. And stop the video so you have time to do that. All right, so by now you have finished that sketch of all three seed varieties. So I'll take these away. And I'm going to bring back the seed packets because there's some information here that I'd like to use for our next question about this experiment. As we start to think about experimenting with different seed, pea seed varieties, it might be helpful to know something about the conditions that they grow best under. So if I, if I flip open the seed packet, I can find some information here. So specifically, I can see that it takes six to 10 days for these seeds to come out or to emerge and that it likes full sun. So six to 10 days for the mammoth melting sugar. And if I take the sugar and let's push that down a little, it also six to 10 days full sun. All right, so those are very similar. And then the Wando, if I flip this over, doesn't have that information like the other packets do. Uh, but if I read the information on the back of the seed packet, um, it tells me that it likes direct sunlight. And but I don't really know how many days to emerge, so we're not really sure if this is the same. So I'm going to ask you to think now between the different seed varieties, if you have any prediction about which seed variety you think might emerge or come out of the seed the fastest, which one do you think will germinate? That's the word when a seed begins to sprout and the seed coat breaks open. Which one do you think that will happen? first for it. I'm going to ask you to make a prediction. Here's what I'm going to ask you to do. Take your notebook page where you have your drawings. I didn't finish my drawings yet. And whichever one you think will come out first, I'd like you to put a star next to it. Do you think it will be the Mammoth Melting Sugar, the Sugar Ann, or the Wando? And then let's make a sentence, a prediction sentence. I predict the seed will emerge first. Okay, so I'll leave that there for you. Which one do you predict? I predict the hmm seed will emerge first. So you'll go ahead and put the name 
of one of the three seed varieties into that space. And you can abbreviate them. Maybe you want to call them MMS, SA, or W, just to save us some time of writing. So go ahead and make your prediction. All right, so by now you've made a prediction and you've finished that sentence in your notebook. Before we leave today, I'd like to go back to this idea of an experiment, a scientific test that follows some steps and has some special rules. When we come back together tomorrow, I would like to design an experiment with you to test the three seed varieties. So let's start thinking about what would that experiment look like? How could we do it? All right, and I will check back with you tomorrow and we'll move on. Thanks very much for joining me, everybody. I look forward to seeing you or talking to you very soon. Aloha.